All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to the daughters of Zion in the New Covenant, man. And um, this is going to be a side lesson going into the benefits of adipose tissue. I went into this a while back, dealing with the anatomy of the Israelite woman and her uh, peculiarities, man. So do all things to edify. <sighs> but I found something new today on Google, man. But I'm going to go from Song of Solomon 7. And I'm going to go show y'all what I found. What you see on the screen, you got the Libran twins and uh, some random so-called Jamaican woman. And uh, just the beauty of the Israelite woman, man. But Song of Solomon 7 and 1. How beautiful are thy feet. With shoes, O prince's daughter, the joints of thy thighs are like jewels, man. The work, the work of the hands of a cunning workman. See that? So, as usual, we got to prove all things for you believers, man. If you don't believe in the truth, this is not for you, okay? So, let me get that. All right, the joints, it goes into curves or curving, right? And this is a Shulamite woman. So this is a so-called black woman. But of thy thighs, right? The loins as the seat of procreative power, the thigh, right? Euphemistically, the generative parts, okay? And then when you go into the Jacinius Hebrew Chaldee lexicon, it says, Arab thigh hunch buttocks, a.k.a. booty, okay? So watch this, man. So when you go into adipose tissue, right? It says adipose tissue, also known as body fat, has many functions in the body, including. And this is why uh, you see a lot of uh, Israelite women in the gym now on Instagram trying to uh grow their glutes or simply just stay in shape and take care of the temple very beautiful thing man and as well as a lot of brothers that's in the knowledge so adipose tissue energy storage adipose tissue is the main energy reservoir in mammals storing fat as neutral tags it provides the body with energy when fasting you know how you don't drink or eat for a certain amount of hours your body begins to eat to eat away at the fat so not having body fat is actually bad um but adipose tissue provides insulation Adip adipose tissue insulates the body from heat and cold organ protection adipose tissue cushions and protects the body's soft organs your liver stomach intestines all that hormone secretion Adipose tissue produces hormones and cytokines that help with metabolic processes, man. Right? It helps with, it helps with your uh, metabolism and balances hormones, man. And I think I'm going to end it off with Exodus 1 going into childbearing. And this is to debunk all you weirdos who think it's a sin and your, your religious people who don't read the Bible who thinks it's... Who think it's uh, lewd to have a curvaceous body bro just adding and taking away from the scriptures but hunger and satiety hold on satiety all right satiety regulation i don't know how to pronounce it satiety regulation adipose tissue helps regulate hunger and i'm gonna say uh prevents being unsatiable that's easier to pronounce for some reason but gluco glucose and cholesterol regulation adipose tissue helps regulate glucose and cholesterol right so not having high blood pressure and diabetes insulin sensitivity adipose tissue helps maintain insulin sensitivity thermogenic heat generation adipose tissue can generate thermogenic heat immunity adipose tissue can contribute to immunity right so having that junk in the trunk having natural having a natural israelite body right if you keep the dietary laws work out and all that your body will 
become a lot more healthier. But the main point I wanted to get was sex, sex hormone metabolism. Adipose tissue metabolizes sex hormones. See that? So it goes it goes into details with the science, right? But y'all watch this, man. So it's another one. So the femoral gluteal or gluteus maximus adipose tissue or AT depot is postulated to play a role in the uptake of fatty acids from the circulation and to act as a reservoir for excess tri hold on tri tri glycerides triglycerides triglycerides triglyceride storage and adipose cells man see that y'all watch this up <sighs> but yeah man i'm gonna let y'all read it because they're not gonna let me read it because you know youtube is sensitive and um you already know israelite women are not hamites or african okay but y'all can pause it and read it for yourself um but this was just new information that i found today and I just found it. Let me see. I just found it interesting, man. Hold on. Actually, I found it. Steatopigia. I don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody please. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up later. But this is the state of having substantial levels of tissue on the buttocks or booty and thighs. This build is not confined to the gluteal regions this is what this is what's crazy though y'all look at this all right but this is a genetic characteristic leading to increased accumulation of adipose tissue in the booty region see that let me see what else i got so it goes into sarah bartman's because of her protruding buttocks but i'm gonna go to the scriptures man because we're not hammers all right so real quick i'm gonna go to exodus 1 and 19 and the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered ere or before the midwives come in unto them. See that? Being fruitful, multiplying. And just to drive the point home, when you go into the word lively. Strong's age 2422. Chaye. Chaye. So, lively, having the vigor of life, vigorous, right? And it says, of Hebrew women in childbirth, bearing quickly, easily, man. See that? So, we just read in the scriptures how the Shulamite woman was built. We just read through science the benefit of adipose tissue. And um, that's why a lot of a lot of women, they... uh. Especially my in my generation, taking care of the bodies, man, because they're increasing in knowledge. Not the majority, probably, but a lot of them are, man. Let me see. Hold on. Shula, my woman. So, Song of Solomon six and thirteen. Return, return, O Shulamite. Return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the Shulamite as it were the company of two armies? All right. So Shulamite, the perfect or the peaceful, the heroic lover of the Song of Songs of Solomon. So this is talking about a woman. All right. An epithet of Solomon's queen, man. All right. Let me see. Shulamite. The Shulamite woman, because she said I am black but calmly, but I believe this is Northern Kingdom. Hold on. Shulamite. This might be the, okay, this might be the first, only verse, man. Hold on. So right here, Shunim, right, was a village in the territory of Issachar, right, north of Jezreel and Mount, and south of Mount Gilboa. See that? So this is clearly a northern king, northern kingdom woman, and this northern kingdom woman, 
clearly said, I am black but comely, meaning beautiful, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. All right, let me end it off real quick because y'all know I can go on forever. What you guys talking about, the scriptures don't describe these people. Okay, Lamentations 5 and 10. Our skin, what? Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. Right? So black, bro. Good, but it's but it's but it's talking about the skin though. It's not talking about uh Jeremiah 14 and 2. Okay, this is it's literally talking about the skin, bro. See, the famine has blackened our skin. What? The famine has blackened our skin as though baked in an oven. Y'all can't get around that, man. Okay? But anyway, that wasn't the point of the lesson. The point of the lesson was showing y'all some more benefits of adipose tissue when it comes to the daughters of Sarah, man. And I started the video off with Song of Solomon 7 and 1. But with that, I want to give a call. Hello, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah. Um, I'm not hiding my talents no more. If you're not reading, if you're not studying, if you're not, if you don't understand somebody else's somebody else's gift, man, please stay in your lane. But with that being said, peace and blessings and shalom.